Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name is Soleil and I garden in a zone 5B in mid-Michigan and today we are down in my plant room because I want to show you some of the things that I've been purchasing. We talked a little bit about the fact that I love to grow seeds uh, during the off season just to prepare for when we're getting ready for gardening. And this year is no exception for sure. I definitely have gotten quite a few seeds. What I like to do is after I've gone through all of my different catalogs is I like to look at which catalog might offer me some of the best value for my money along with which ones that I think I can get the most of the type that I want to get. So for example if I have five different things marked in different catalogs I'll look to see if there's a catalog that can offer me all five of those so that I can pay less shipping because it's important to me to get the best value for my money. So let's take a look today at some of the things that I was actually able to get because I definitely narrowed down the scope of my uh, purchases to two or three different companies and I've got at least two of them in today. All right, so the two companies that I ordered from the most were Johnny Seeds and Baker Creek. And that just happened to be because they have so many different varieties. So that's really uh, something that can be a really huge boon to actually being able to buy things. I've also gotten some things from that are actually on their way right now that are from Hertz Gardens, H-I-R-T, and they have botanical interest seeds. And the reason why I'm getting them from them is because they also have a really good selection of flowering seeds and I feel like they also offer some really good prices on them and so let's take a look at some of the ones that I've got today and I'm not going to get too specific about these seeds I just want to share with you what I've got we'll talk a little bit about the growing habit and you know some of the conditions that you need and when you need to start them uh, a little bit later <clears throat> so the first one that I have here is a Dalmatian peach digitalis which is a foxglove and so this one is a hybrid and it grows 24 to 36 inches and there are actually at least 50 seeds in here and it is a perennial one of the things that is special about this one is that it also is often able to bloom within the same growth cycle so typically foxglove are a biennial but this one actually blooms its first season so this one can be a perennial or biennial in zones four to eight. And since I'm a, uh, a zone 5B, this is a great one for me. And I'm looking forward to having the additional color. Now, I also have gotten some herbs. I got a cilantro, and this cilantro is something I absolutely love. A, oftentimes, cilantro will reseed itself in my potager garden, but sometimes it doesn't. So I, this is really just a backup for me. It is an annual, but like I said, after it blooms, I just leave it and let it set seed and just kind of throw those seeds into the garden. So we'll see what comes up this next year. This germinates in like seven to 10 days and it grows fairly quickly. So I'm not too worried about it. If I don't see some that grow in the ground, I will direct sow these into the garden. All right, I also got a purple basil. This purple basil is something that germinates in five to 10 days. This is not something that reseeds itself in my garden because it is a very warm season vegetable. Sometimes I try to grow this inside, but it can take a long time to grow. So I have my best results here in zone 5B by actually planting this into pots or directly into the garden when uh, the frost is all gone. So this one's gonna be beautiful. It can also make for a really great filler in some of your potted plant arrangements. Next up, I have a tomato. This is a hybrid indeterminate tomato. This is called Big Beef Plus from Jenny Seeds. And this one um, I'm excited about because it should be a really good sized tomato, good for slicing, good for eating. I love my tomatoes nice out of the garden. And this one also is what you call indeterminate. So that means that it just continues to grow. Determinate varieties mean that they stop growing at some point and all the fruit that you get will be on that plant. Indeterminate will continue to shoot vines up throughout the growing season until frost. 
Next up is something I have not grown from seed before, and in fact, I haven't even bought many of these as annuals, but amaranth, and this is a coral fountain amaranth. So this is gonna be a really beautiful color. This is also an annual. A lot of people use these in cut flower arrangements. I hope that it will be something that I can grow and use in some pots around my deck or anywhere in my garden. All right, next up, I have some snapdragons, and I actually got two of the Potomac Royal F1 Hybrid Snapdragons. So this is a nice deep pink, and I absolutely love that color, and it's very bright. So I think this will be nice and showy. I grew some snapdragons last year. I blew the I grew the Black Prince variety, and these definitely take a long time to um, go from germination to flowering, so I'll be planting these very soon. These are very cold, uh, hardy annual. They actually can be considered a short-lived perennial as well, so I will definitely be plugging these into some trays soon. In addition to that, I got the Potomac Orange Hybrid Snapdragon. So this one is also a really nice bright color and I think it goes really well with that other royal one that I just talked about and will make a really nice filler or even kind of a spiller for some of the arrangements because as they grow, the Snapdragons do tend to flop over unless you continue to cut them back. So I was looking for some bunny grass and neither Johnny Seeds or Baker Creek had them. They were sold out at one or the other. I can't remember which, but since they were sold out and I actually found some, I found some through the botanical interest. So I have some coming, but I, um, as an alternative, I got these feather top grasses from Johnny Seed. So it's very similar to the bunny grass, maybe slightly larger. Um, this is considered a tender perennial and it's a penicetum. It's actually uh, only hardy down to zone eight. So for me, it would be an annual. Next up, we have some zinnias. I thought the color on these are really beautiful. These are the Queenie Red Lime, also from Johnny Seed. And these germinate really quickly as well. I enjoyed growing uh, some zinnias last year. I believe I had the purple, what was it called? I don't know, it's called purple something or other, but these have a little bit more of a subdued hue to them, so I'm really excited to see these grow as well. All right, next up is my Baker Creek order, and I love Baker Creek. They definitely go a lot towards heirloom seeds. They gave me some free seeds with my order. These are called spoon tomatoes. They're absolutely teeny tiny. I cannot believe how tiny they are. Um, they're a micro mini fruit is what they call them, probably the world's tiniest tomatoes, and they mature in about 70 days. So that could be a really fun like container plant as well. And then what I mainly got from uh, Baker Creek is some of the violas. I love growing pansies and violas, and these also take quite a bit of time to grow from seed to flower to bloom. So I like to get these started fairly early. So these will go in almost as early as the snapdragon. So got a great variety of these. This is the Berna Velvet Blue Pansy. It's the only pansy I got. I tend to prefer the viola over the pansies because they're a little bit more cold tolerant and they seem to rebloom a little bit better for me and reseed a bit in my garden. Um, this will bloom in 60 to 85 days. So I like to try to get these started early so that I can get them out in spring so that I can enjoy their blooms before everything else is bursting. This is a blue perfection viola, absolutely gorgeous. This is a perennial in zones five to nine, um, but you can grow them as an annual. I don't have a whole lot of luck getting my violas to continue as a perennial. Perennials, um, perennial violas are often very short-lived, so they don't always come back from year to year. Um, and if they do, they may only last for a few years anyways, but these are absolutely gorgeous. I like to plant them out in the landscape as well as in pots. 
This one was one of my favorite this last year, along with the next one. This is called the Wayne, uh, Wine Laetta Viola. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it does take 85 days to get to its bloom. So that is quite a bit of time. And this one is my other one that I love, which is the Antique Laetta Viola. So also 85 days until I can get a bloom on it. But I just love the colors of these. They're again a little bit subdued and um, this one's a perennial in zones four to nine. So this one's a little bit hardier. So I often have a little bit better luck with this one overwintering. And I do actually have one right now blooming in the garden. So that's pretty cool. But these are also edible, the violas. So um, they're a great plant to have in your garden and something that blooms so early in the season. Now, as I get ready to do some of my planting with these seeds, I wanted to make sure that I had some good labels and I try to save my labels from one year to the next. And I did a pretty good job of that, but I got so many different types of seeds this year. I don't know how many of them I'm gonna actually grow. I usually overbuy because I just, it's like when it's gray outside, it, the sunshine for me is buying flowers <laughs> and seeds for vegetables and flowers. So that's what happens, but I save them from year to year and I definitely don't try to buy things that I already have. So I wanna make sure that I have some uh, labels for my plants and I didn't wanna get anything that was plastic this year, just thinking about the environment and all. So these are some bamboo labels that I got, uh, 75 of them come in a container from Amazon and I thought it was a pretty good deal, maybe about $10 and it came with a label pen as well. And I actually have some label pens that I bought earlier this year and I thought wouldn't it be fun for me to get a bunch of them and then share some of them with you. So if you guys are interested, if you grow seeds or you have something that you need a plant label for and you would like a garden marker, make sure you put a comment in the section below and let me know what you might be growing on in seed or if you've bought any seeds this year um, or what you might need to use this label marker for. This is a Artline garden marker. It is a fine tip so it's really easy to use and should last pretty well. I just started using them myself this year and I like them so far but I have a few so I'm going to give away about three of them so I would love to hear from you guys if you're interested. So many of you have asked me to continue to provide updates on how things are growing here in my plant room and things are going great. I would say that I have actually had this amaryllis that was 26 inches that I put some uh, pictures out on YouTube of is done, but it has a new bud that is coming up. I'm not sure it's as big as the first bud, but it certainly does look like it will be beautiful. The last one was absolutely gorgeous. And then I have another bud, as you can see on this one right here. And then these amaryllis are really growing well. They're putting up lots of shoots, but I also do see a nice bud on this one and a small bud on the one back there. So we have lots of blooms that are still coming on the amarilla. So I will be very excited to see those over time. And I will try to remember to put some pictures up for you guys. I wanna give you a little quick update on the caladiums as well. So here we have the caladium bulbs that I told you I found after they had been sitting there unplanted for about nine months, uh, maybe even longer than that. And it's definitely putting out some really good new growth here. This one never opened, so I'm not sure if that, somebody commented that that might be a bloom. I'm not sure, but it never fully opened. So I've got another really big leaf coming out here. Another one is actually shooting up a leaf and we have one, two, three, four, at least four others that I see poking out from the soil. Now I think caladiums really do like it to be a little bit warmer. So what I've done is just turn on the heat mat that I have underneath of that. And this is in a pretty thick uh, container, so it's not gonna overheat or anything like that, but it's just gonna give it a little bit more warmth to make it feel like it might be in a more tropical area because I keep it quite cool down here in my basement. All right, let's take a look now at the canna bulbs or rhizomes that we planted and their progress.
Here is a quick picture of the bloom color of the cannas, and you can see the variegation on these. These are called the Pretoria cannas, and uh, definitely very beautiful. And this is the one that I split into three different containers. You can see in this container, we have a brand new shoot already coming up here. Not a whole lot of growth on these three, but I can tell that the inner shoot of this one is starting to push out a little bit as well. On this container, we've definitely had this leaf really push out since planting it. And then finally on this one, we have a nice little leaf growing right here. And I don't, like I said, have a ton of sunlight on these. They're just starting to warm up. Oh, I actually see the tip right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a little tip that's growing out of the soil right here of another leaf. So these are doing really well. And it's just been probably a week and a half, I think, since I planted them, maybe two weeks. And I'm looking forward to seeing them grow. Hopefully they'll just continue to grow at this rate and not get really crazy on me. But uh, because it's kind of cool in this area, I think they will grow fairly slow. Now, finally, I also just want to share with you a resource that I found in Hertz Gardens when I was looking at the seeds there. And that is that they are selling some Proven Winners perennial shrubs in four inch pots. Now, I think it's a pretty amazing deal myself. So I ordered quite a few of them and I want to share with you a little bit about those. Okay, so what I want to share with you is that I got, let's see, how many did I get? One, four, five, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14 shrub, four inch pots for, $146.85 and that includes the shipping. So Hertz Gardens, H-I-R-T-S, I haven't gotten the order yet, but I plan to show it to you when I get it because they, sh they are in shipping status right now to me. But I got a quick fire fab panicle hydrangea. I got three Arctic Sun, uh, which are the red twig dogwoods that kind of have both red and orange and yellow on them. I got a Spice Baby Korean Spice Viburnum, a Gold Cone Juniper. I got two Yesberry Hascap. Those are the honeyberry bushes, which I've always wanted to have, but usually you can't find them unless they're like $30 each. So these were just like $9.99. And then for the entire order, I used a coupon code called Welcome to Hertz. And that took an additional, I think, 15% off, something like that. So each one of these ended up being $7.99 each. And they're gonna be small, right? These are gonna be four inch pots. So again, I'll show them to you when I get them. But still, I think it's a really great deal because I don't mind waiting. I like growing things on myself and seeing how they grow. I also got an Invincible Mini Mauvette. That is a smooth hydrangea. I got a firelight tidbit. So I have a regular firelight, but this one's even smaller. I got a Steady Eddie Viburnum, which is a double file Viburnum. And then a Little Lime Punch. Actually, I got two Little Lime Punches. I don't have any of those at all, but um, all of these have a little bit of a unique uh, kind of twist to the panicle hydrangea. And I just love panicle hydrangeas. And I don't have a lot of them in the small size. So I thought I would give it a try. This was the perfect time to do it. I mean, you know, you can buy like a two gallon pot. You could get like five of them. And here I am with like 15 plants that I'm ordering that will grow up over the next three years into a really good um, plant. So yeah, I can't wait to share the order with you when I get it from them. Again, it was Hertz Garden. Um, and I'll let you know more about that once I get them so we can kind of determine the quality of the plants, how well they shipped, because it's definitely getting colder here again. So I will be able to give you a little bit of an inside scoop on how well they get to my doorstep from Hertz Gardens. They are located, I believe, in Ohio, which is not too far from me, but they definitely will still spend some time in transit in the cold weather. 
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and uh, I look forward to hearing a little bit about what you guys are planning on growing or what seeds you're planning on buying this year. And I can't wait to send out some of those uh, label markers to you. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye.